Hi, it's Matt from The Real Toy Shop. So, today we have got one of the nicest air cooled GSAs we have seen for some time. So, let's bring you around the bike. You can have a look at it, you can make your own decision whether it's one of the nicest GSAs you've seen for a long time. And then, yeah, see if you want it. Drop a comment in the box in the uh, down below. Tell us what you think about these air-cooled GSAs, whether you'd have one, and um, what you think of them to ride, and whether you think this is good condition. Let's get a conversation going. I might be, uh, I might be wrong. So, as you can see, it's a 2008 bike. Let you guess the mileage. You can drop a comment if you guess the mileage as well. Let's go round it. So, it's had one owner. It was in his company name to start off with, and then he brought it into his own name. It's also, when he bought the bike, this was done by BMW, you won't see another of this colour, it's like a blue flip. And this was done to match a car that he bought at exactly the same time. So, yeah, what a thing. Looks absolutely ace. These lights don't really show it off, but when you get it outside in the sun, it absolutely gleams. Right, come on then. So, on these GSAs, when you're looking at one of these older air cooled, what are the things that stand out? Well, if you see a good one, the things that stand out for me, and we've had, I want to say hundreds, hundreds of them. Hubs. Normally, you'll see corrosion in the hubs at this age, and the hubs will be letting the bike down. What else? Well, I guess you probably all know this one. Front cover also corrodes, and that'll let you down. Mainly due to the fact there's a bit of sponge behind here and it holds water. It's a bit of a fault. Uh, for, well, not a fault. It's just a, one of them things from new. But as you can see, look at it. Getting hold of one of these air-cooled uh, GSAs now in a condition like this, virtually impossible. Especially here in the UK. I don't know what we're like in other countries, but most of ours were picked and uh, sent abroad. So anyway, I've held you looking at that engine too long. Got the magnesium head covers on there, rock covers. Again, immaculate. Headers. Look at the front headers. That would be a standout thing, or manifolds as we call them in the UK. In fact, we still call them headers, actually. But look at, the, look at those. Spec of the bike. That's another thing that this bike, back in the day, may not have been as desirable, but now is a desirable spec. Why? No ABS, so no £2,000 pump to go wrong. And no ESA rear shock to go wrong. So no ESA, no ABS. So as a spec now, it really is a sought after spec because you don't have the problems. And it's, she's an old bike now. She's um, 2008, so what are we, 16 year old? Next thing, check the shaft. Always check the shaft. If your shaft is nice and smooth without any knobbly bits on it, it's a good shaft. No corrosion. Look at the wheels, look at the tyres. It's got service history, this bike. It's not full, probably been done on mileage rather than uh, the, net, the age. And it last saw BMW about 300 miles ago. So that was a full big service, or a 12K service anyway. Again, look at the hub. Beautiful. Original silencer, these early bikes sound better as well because they weren't governed by all them crazy uh, EU four, five, six, whatever. Again, look at the bottom of the engine, because that is another area where you would see corrosion. Look through there, you'll see a BMW oil filter. Looks like brand new. Everything you look, everywhere you look on this bike, looks lovely. Again, these grey bits were also painted in uh, like a satin black. Um, make a more better contrast on the bike. You've got heated grips, you've got spots, and you've also got some other mad spots on here. We'll come to those. As I say, the bike was... Um, a business bike, so probably bought. Thank you very much, Mr. Taxman. Um, I do use this bike for work. Colour coded beak as well, which looks good. Good tyres all around. To find one with this mileage as well, just for me, I haven't seen a 9K air cooled GSA for a good long while. So, as we go around the bike, got an intercom fitted as well so you intercom there have you guessed the mileage yet well you will have done because i think i've probably told you <laughs> anyway what can we do for you on this bike well 
If you're interested in buying the bike, that's fantastic. Number one, if you've got a part exchange and people seem to have, and you don't want to sell it yourself, then of course, give us a, a call. Or the easiest way, call won't, yeah, it'll take us for ages on the phone and everything else. Just send your details to here, therealtoyshop.com. We have a part exchange form. And on there, it collects all the information that I need to get you a price. Might need pictures, everything else, once we've sorted that bit out. But that gives us a start, and whether you even are interested in taking that price before we mess about with pictures or whatever. So, that's number, that's number one. Number two, uh, we actually part X dealt with, do you need some monthly payments? Cool, that's good. We've got a uh, finance company we use, quick decisions, decent rates, all that good stuff, and... Stress-free, easy, easy, easy. Speak to Lisa or Scott on that number that we'd said earlier. Let's show you again. And they will work you out some monthly payments. If you like those monthly payments, then, of course, we will propose your finance. And if you're a good boy or girl, you'll get it. Racks as well, look, in black. Not silver, but cool. Uh, right then, what are we up to now? Delivery. All of our toys all get delivered for absolutely nothing in mainland UK. We're happy to bring this bike to you with my happy smiling face or our dedicated motorcycle courier. And, of course, it's free. It's a free service. It's not a concierge service where you can dictate times when you're in and when you're on holiday and all that. It's a free service to so make yourself available. And if you go on our website, realtoyshop.com, on there, terms and conditions, how it all works, and time frames, all that good stuff. So, right, let's make a noise. We want to make a noise, don't we? So, firstly, 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 if you need permission from anybody to have this bike, ask your missus first, your mother, your brother, your dad, your lover. What I mean by that, we hate the conversation on the phone. Oh, that's all good. You've been on the phone an hour. Right, I'm going to go and ask my missus. Grow a pair, you sound weak, or just have the bike, or just don't ask your missus first. And by that, I mean, of course we all need permission. Just get it first. Right. Make a noise time. Let's come round. So, here's your dash. Dash, 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 dash. Must dash. There you go. Right. I've put the indicator on. Can't start the bike. So, there we go, look. And here we've got all sorts of things going on. Let's turn the indicator off. Need some fuel in it, we'll get fuel. Don't worry about that. So, here's some other stuff, Law. You can have your speed, have its fuel. All that other good stuff is all in there. We need some fuel, we'll put some in it. Won't be going out of here with the light on. Both keys, all its books, all that are all with the bike. And then there's these, look. Yes, I did buy it for work. I'm an escort. I don't mean a male escort, I mean like a... I escort my um, plant around the place. So you've got these on. Yeah. I know. Take them off if you want. But we're leaving them on there because you might want them. You might want it for your work. How quiet is that engine? How quiet. Sounds lovely. Really does. Half tempted, but I'm always half tempted, so don't take that as, you know, this one gets special above the rest. I'm always half tempted. Oh yeah, let's turn our funny lights off. So they're off. So let's have a quick recap. Yeah, down below. Well, if you've liked to, learnt anything, whatever, give us a little like and subscribe. That's that's cool. I keep asking and begging. Thumbs up. I always appreciate it. Um, number one. Get the part X form filled in. Then we can work out if stage number two, you want some monthly payments. We've already got your settlement figure and all the other good stuff sorted out. So that's number two. Number three, let's just get it paid for. Get it in a van. Get it to you as quick as we can. Can't say any fairer, can we? So that's Matt from The Real Toy Shop tying out. Don't forget, ask your missus first or grow a pair. See you on the next one. Hope you like this bike, because I really do. Bye for now.